It's way too cold up here. We gotta get south. But before we do anything, we gotta raise the main and the anchor. The anchor's gonna be real nasty because of the river mud that's stuck to it. Ready? We are thin-blooded Floridians that can't handle this cold weather. So we need to escape Annapolis and get as far south as possible before we turn into popsicles. <laughs> Since we don't have a diesel and we have an electric motor, we need wind to sail. So we waited for a promising forecast. However, we were unpleasantly surprised on this passage and we get a true taste of how bad it can get on the Chesapeake. Holy gustiness. It is super <laughs> gusty today. We've just got the little lady out and our main, full main. How, how is it handling it? It's pretty strong. Yeah. It's just gusty and cold. And a crap load of crab pots all over the place. So, Brandy's trying to keep us from jibing and tangled up. But it is a gorgeous day. too sporty right yeah. so we need to put a couple of reefs in uh, I think we're just gonna leave it out like it is and Brandy's just gonna point into it a little bit and two reefs. yeah I'm gonna put two reefs in so I should probably bring it in a little bit but it's gonna want to pull you so it's gonna be a pain I mean, I'm going 7.4 now, still. I mean, I'm going 7.4, what do you think? I think so. I think so. Like, do you not feel overpowered? I'm not at the helm. Let's do a third one. Okay. going seven knots right now. I can only imagine how fast that guy's going. He is just gliding through. This has been quite the slap in the face. We have been sailing with pretty much no wind and motoring a lot lately to being thrown into the wolves with the most wind consistently I think we've ever sailed in. This has been nuts and the waves are super choppy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy. Crushing it. We just look like a little bitty bath, a little bitty bathtub in a big old washing machine. These bigger boats are just flying past us. And we're going eight knots. I have no idea how fast they're going. I'm just being a big old baby and hiding from all the waves and the nastiness that's going on outside right now. I've been white knuckling it for the past four hours. Because uh, I wasn't feeling very good. Yeah, Brandy was a little queasy. I think she, you came down here to do something and... Right? It was over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I see why, because I was down here for a hot second and I'm feeling queasy. But this, this is some crazy sailing. Uh, it's pretty intense. 
We're we're not used to this. We've been picking a lot of light weather windows, so we didn't have any choices. Yeah, this has been uh, an eye opener. We, <laughs> it definitely uh, showed us what we've been lazy about. So, but we have three reefs in right now, which uh, it's very rare that we'll put three reefs in. We're gusting up to th over 30 knots. But it's, it seems to be more of a sustained gust than it is yeah. a gust because <laughs> the gusts last for a long time. But we are gonna pull into a bay here and Solomon chill Island. out, Solomon Island. We're gonna chill out and try to get some work done and relax because yeah. we deserve it. For sure. <laughs> We've only been sailing for a couple hours. Four or five hours, yeah. and I feel like we've been sailing for a week and a half. Craziness. Uh, no, I think, uh, yeah, I think we're good. We're probably just going to anchor out. Okay, understood. You're on the sailboat that's got sailed up uh, in the shoal area, correct? Oh, okay, no, um, we are, we are still coming down the Chesapeake. I'm sorry, wrong boat. No worries, uh, social back to 1-6. One, six. One, six. It's a Sersha, right? Nice. That's what it sounded like. Huh? That's what it sounded like. It did sound, it sounded like Sersha, but then there was another boat that said Sersha, Sersha oh, this maybe. morning. Yeah. But that sounded like Sersha. Yeah. yeah, this, today has been crazy. I was listening to somebody who lost their rudder, somebody's e-curve was gone off. Did that, somebody got shoaled? I guess so. Not us. Ooh, a lot of wind. A lot of wind. Sparky on because the wind's blowing dead on the nose and we just want to get there. So calm in here, very peaceful. We're going pretty far in to get a nice calm spot. So easy, anchor set. Now, time to get some work done. Yeah. Oh, well, it's beam. No, we're gonna turn in a second. Okay. Wait on the main. Yeah. All right. Anchor is clean-ish. One bad thing about these rivers, all this mud. We don't have that problem in the Caribbean. A. 
Hey, guys, I'm Canadian. <laughs> Thanks, Lind. For the toque. <laughs> you're gonna have to start talking Canadian when you're wearing that. But I'm not a Canuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I think this seal might be too small to take us anywhere, huh? Can literally hold it. What, hun? I don't know. About what? The sail is kind of small. I think we're just floating. Go 1.6. We're just kind of floating. Taking in the scenery. We'll just take in the scenery. We are back at it, back to the beating. It was nice taking a day off and we did a little uh, chili fest last night. That was cool. I uh, got to see some friends and yeah, ate a lot of good chili. It was delicious. Solomon's Islands was cute to stop at. We'd love to give you kind of a plan that we're doing, but unfortunately we don't have one. With the wind and the cold, we're just kind of trying to survive at this point and making it south. I think we might go to Deltaville. That's the goal, but we'll see how far we can get. I don't think we'll be doing like seven, eight knots like we were the other day. Ooh. It's a little bit calmer today as calmer. you get hit by a gust. <laughs> Very rocky rolly. right now but at 2 o'clock it's gonna drop to 11 gusting 22 so I think we need to make better time 
than what we're doing. We're only doing what? Four, four and a half? No, five and a half to six. Uh, still, I think we should shake out the reefs, drop the head, because the head's not doing anything. We're like dead downwind, right? Uh, it's kind of broad. But we're going to be turning more, right? Yeah, just barely though. Once we get past the gigantic circle. Okay. Because it's a target area. I'm assuming if we go through it, we'll be shot down. I don't know. Since it seems like it's going to be dead downwind for the rest of the time, we decided we're going to get rid of the little lady, put the big boy up. Which is a 150 for those who don't know that we name our sails. <laughs> and do wing on wing. We'll pull it up. We also need to prevent the main. So just in case, we don't want to take our heads off. Off with your head. Hey, right, it's gonna take a while. To sail dead downwind means the wind is coming at us from directly behind Sersha. So to capture it, we place a sail on each side of the boat, which is called wing on wing. And because we're trying to capture as much wind as possible without putting too much load on our rig, we need to replace our small 100% jib with our large 150% Genoa. Switching out head sails isn't hard, it just takes a lot of time, especially when you have to brace yourself from all the wave action. More or less the way we're pointing. Well, technically I should go about here. What is this? Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, you're pretty much dead down. Okay. Gonna ride that pony, pony. Gonna ride that pony. Gonna ride that pony, pony. The whisker pole keeps the head sail out so it doesn't collapse on itself when a wave hits the boat. We also run a preventer from the end of the boom forward to the bow and then back to the cockpit. This prevents the boom from accidentally swinging over from one side of the boat to the other.
baby. To pick up speed? <laughs> no? So it wasn't worth it, all that work? I mean, I'm sure. I can't imagine we won't pick up speed. Starting to lose wind. Where are we going? Anywhere from three and a half to five knots. We stowed the whisker pole and kicked on the motor. Ended up motor sailing the rest of the way into the anchorage. We didn't get to anchor until after dark, but it'll be worth it because this is gonna be a nice berth to wait out for our next weather window. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.